Too many young men in our community continue to make bad choices. And I have to say, growing up, I made quite a few myself. Sometimes I wrote off my own failings as just as another example of the world trying to keep a black man down. I had a tendency sometimes to make excuses for me not doing the right thing. But one of the things that all of you have learned over the last four years is there's no longer any room for excuses. I understand there's, there's a common fraternity creed here at, at Morehouse. Excuses are tools of the incompetent used to build bridges to nowhere and monuments of nothingness. Well, we've got no time for excuses. Not because the bitter legacy of slavery and segregation have vanished entirely, they have not. Not because racism and discrimination no longer exist. We know those are still out there. It's just that in today's hyper-connected, hyper-competitive world with millions of young people from China and India and Brazil, many of whom started with a whole lot less than all of you did, all of them entering the global workforce alongside you, nobody is going to give you anything that you have not earned. Nobody cares how tough your upbringing was. Nobody cares if you suffered some discrimination. And moreover, you have to remember that whatever you've gone through, it pales in comparison to the hardships previous generations endured and they overcame them and if they overcame them you can overcome them too part of the reason i'm going to tell you something else and i want to make this clear don't just listen don't just listen do i'm i'm not just talking so you know i'm not just talking i'm doing and I don't want you to just listen. Put this information to work. Make today count. Every day. Go forward. Get aggressive and attack. Whether it's on the battlefield or on the beat in the factory or on the farm or on the construction site or on the website in the garage or in the firehouse don't hesitate step step forward and get after it people don't like to look themselves in the mirror that's the hardest thing to do you know, it's, it's to critique yourself rather than point the finger, you know, and, and everybody hates change. So to actually do that and say, I'm wrong in a lot of areas. I look at myself in the mirror and I'm saying I'm wrong in a lot of areas. That takes a lot of willpower, you know what I'm saying? So it starts with self first. Do you have a career idea in your head or you have you, do you have a mindset about your uh, No, your I mean, yeah, I do. My mindset is so simple. I just want to get better. I want to get better and I want to work with great people. It's really simple. Do you want to be pushed in new directions all the time or are you? Uh, I don't want to be pushed, I think I push myself. So mm -hmm. the, the, I never, I have a pretty strong engine of, of, of wanting to uh, grow. So n the, the, no one, I know, n although David is a good example, I didn't think I could do that role. And he, there mm -hmm. was an example of a director saying, just walk with me, you know. Is and we're going to do another movie together in the spring where he's, it's the same thing, it's a, it's a difficult character. Give yourself a reward of some kind for practicing the new behavior. Each time you reward yourself, you reaffirm and reinforce that behavior. Soon you begin to associate at an unconscious level the pleasure of the reward with the behavior. You set up your own force field of positive consequences that you unconsciously look forward to as a result of engaging in that behavior or habit that you've decided upon. A lot of it is mental. Um, you know, if you want to do something and you want it that bad, you'll make sacrifices. And, you know, growing up for me as a kid, I made a lot of sacrifices that I didn't seem that they were a big deal and I don't seem they, like, I don't, I don't think of them as being a big deal right now. 
you know, there were Saturdays or Fridays where you know, I'd give up going to a dance or hanging out with my friends because I had work out the next day. But those things that I gave up, you know, were things that I wanted to to help me get to my goal. And and there were times where I put, you know, I've, I've been put in uncomfortable situations, but I've used my mental power and my mental strength to push through it. I think that's how you, you know, you can look at any of the athletes in the world. I mean, Tiger, the guy has a, a busted knee and still comes and destroys the rest of the field. You know, that's the thing. It's like people don't make excuses. Now, some of the best athletes or the greatest athletes in the world do things when they're uncomfortable. You know, everybody can compete when they're feeling good, happy, excited, rested. But it's the best people who can overcome when they're tired, sore, not in the great mind, you know, not in the best mindset. And I think mental power that the greatest athletes have can push all the pain aside. That's what humans are good at. We all fail. We've all failed. Like, there are, I, I, my parents haven't been killed. My child, I mean, there's people that have their children die. Like, could you imagine? Like, the shit I deal, like, I'm, like, listen, unfortunately, or fortunately, depends on how one wants to look at it, I'm a pretty optimistic guy. I lost three of my four grandparents before I was really, before I knew them, two before I was born and one very early on. Like, so, you know, it's easy for me to be happy. I have my shit in the right order, the health and well-being of my family. And there's nothing even remotely close to that. Not even, re- not even remotely. People have gotten through much worse. This is why I'm trying to recall our grandparents and our great-grandparents. People were persecuted and killed. Like, I just, we do not have real headaches. You know what I mean? I do. We are strong as shit. We're really strong. We're just being sold that we're not. Because there's a lot of money a lot of money in telling us that we're not pretty enough, thin enough, smart enough, good enough. F- that. I want to tell you you're the f- best. Go do sh-